Hey everyone and welcome back to The Surge. On this video we're going to be exploring Central Production B. Believe it or not, but I just had the incredible honor of meeting Jonah Gutenberg, founder of Creo. That was an amazing experience. I mean, you already know that Creo is not just another company. Our founder, Jonah Gutenberg, has a vision. A vision of a better world. We've all seen what has happened during our lifetime. This is not the future we were promised. Jonah saw the world deteriorate before his eyes. It was not just the social economic problems, the divide between the haves and the have-nots. No, it was bigger. Crops were failing, sea levels rising, droughts, floods, storms. Our world was dying. Project Resolve designed not as a band-aid, but as a cure. With every launch, the integrity of our atmosphere is being strengthened. With every rocket's payload, our world is being reseeded for future generations. Jonah used his considerable influence to bring together world leaders and corporations to create the Kyoto Accord. No longer could the environmental changes be ignored. Many even deemed it too late. But Jonah had an idea. And using his company's extensive resources, he'd already prototyped what would become Project Resolve. And that's why you're here, to make a difference. That's why Creo's here. That's why we're all here, to make a dream reality. Not just for us, but for our children. And for our children's children. Okay, so if we look at the map over here, you can see we're pretty close to operations, and that's where we're trying to go. Contact station, drone registration. Connection failure. Rerouting. Manual link established. Welcome to main production. Worker number. Database error. Let me show you around. Now, how may I help you? Let me show you around. Around. Got a screw loose, huh? Seems you've got a screw loose somewhere. Thanks for your concern. Error. No loose screws found. Where is everybody? Right. So, where is everybody? Unable to initiate link to CreoNet. No data available. Where's operations? Fabulous. Then where's operations? Information unavailable. Goodbye. Time to get to work. Let me show you the way. Terms of use and license agreement. How may I be of service? Uh, provided by Creo. I'd like to help. I'd like to help. I'd like to... Please, hold the line. Companion drone acquired. You can use your companion drone to perform unique combat actions. Look for new drone modules to expand its arsenal. Drone module acquired, focused infra blaster. Your drone fires an energized projectile at the enemy, dealing light damage. Can still be used without energy, but deals very little damage. So when you get your drone companion, you're gonna get the trophy Hey Listen, which is a Zelda reference, but I've already got that trophy, so it's not gonna pop up. Uh, if we go to our gear, you can see our drone floating there, and we've got our drone modules. We have the Focused Infra Blaster. It's a ranged attack with energy consumption of 18. However, you can use it at zero energy, like it said, but if you do that, it's gonna do very little damage, but still very useful especially for pulling enemies. Uh, elevator control, use the terminal to call the elevator to your floor. Elevator called, elevator is on its way, please be patient. Your companion drone becomes more useful over time. Look out for drone modules to teach it new tricks. 
Drone attack, press triangle while facing an enemy to attack it with your drone. Let's try it out. And shot him right down. Alright, this guy right here, I want to attack his right arm, cut it off, and take his weapon. And because I already have that weapon, it'll give me tungsten alloy instead, which I need to uh, upgrade my weapons with. Uh, but if I attack him with this weapon, it's just going to straight up kill him before I can cut. So I'm going to use a different weapon. And all right, I never got I never showed you guys this weapon. This was from the first boss the PAX Imperator It's a single rig just like mine uh, Pretty much every stat is better than mine damage is 49 impact is high attack speed is low proficiency scaling is high and Energy gain is plus 70% but I don't actually want to use it because the counterattacks on it are weaker for some reason and uh, only one of the hits connects instead of two, like my current one. So the uppercut part of the counterattack will hit, push the enemies far away, and then the follow-up attack will always miss because they're too far away. Um, so that's the reason I'm not using it. Um, also, I discovered something with weapons and armor. If you hit triangle, there's sort of like hidden stats. Um, this one has 9 elemental damage, 40 slash damage, and 27 thrust damage. Um, I believe the counterattack is probably a crush attack, so that's probably why it's lower than mine. Because mine has 6 crush damage, that has 0. So that's my best guess. Uh, it says it's an arm-mounted section of the Pacification Automation X's powered blade weapon. Refit for use at a human scale. Even scaled down, it retains formidable mass and can deliver devastating blows. The power couplings of its energized blade have been somewhat damaged by concussive rocket explosions, but still retain most functionality. Alright, so for this guy, I'm just going to put on a piston, I guess. I just need to gain energy while not doing too much damage, because I need to cut. That should be good, I think. And yep, there's my tungsten alloy. And that item is some more tungsten alloy, but that's Mark II. And I'll switch back to my usual weapon. Welcome. This unit is currently running on emergency power. Services are limited at the moment. We apologize for any inconvenience. Okay, so that's operations, uh, but it's running on emergency power. We need to get that fully powered so we can use the gear assembly and all that good stuff. There's that big machine again. Alright, we got a dude here. Let's go for his body. We'll just have to chip away at it slowly. Don't get too aggressive, otherwise you'll get hit. And just let him leave himself vulnerable. Sure does take a while to get through that. It's a big defense on that chest. Staggered him right before he hit me there. Oh! Oh, almost got hit. That was close. And there's the cut. Alright, and we got the Rhino Body Gear Schematic. So right here we can overcharge. That's gonna get operations back up and running. Sector initializing. Sector online. Welcome, Warren. Hello? Anyone there? Are you receiving? Please contact me if you can. Warren. I was starting to worry. I'm glad you're okay. Who are you? Will you finally tell me who you are? Sally. I'm Sally. Medical staff assigned to the Executive Forum. I'm isolated up here. Stuck, to be exact. Just trying my best to figure out how I can help. What's going on here? What the hell's going on here? There was some kind of incident, that's all I know. 
Hardly anything is working and your area is in lockdown. I'm trapped up in the executive forum. There's loads of distress beacons, but you're the only person I've managed to contact. We have to do something. All right. Fine. Hope this qualifies for hazard pay. Okay then. We need to find out what happened, and we won't if we just stay here. We're in this together, and like it or not, we're on our own. At least for the time being. We should call for help. You tried calling for help? The system's locked down. There's no way I know to contact anybody outside, and it seems most comms are out apart from the ops. Goodbye. I better get going. Be careful out there. She said I should get to the executive level, that it's safe there. That security forces have it locked down, but it's the getting there that's the problem. She said things will soon be under control, and they've asked for external aid. It, it tells you how serious things have gotten if they've called for outside help. But you know what? It's fine. If they've got everything under control, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them. It's terrifying enough listening to the noises, let alone being out there. I'm safe here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is upgrade my weapon. We'll get that up to 46 damage. And now I want to craft some gear. Now, um, I really wanted to use the rhino gear to use heavy gear. But after much pain and suffering, I eventually tried out the lynx gear. And I can tell you, it is better in every conceivable way. So we are switching to lynx gear. I'm making a full set of it. The problem with the rhino gear is uh, the extra defense on it. Seems to do literally nothing. All the attacks seem to do the same damage to me in Lynx gear or Rhino gear. Uh, the Rhino gear takes more core power to use. It uh, gives negatives to your stamina consumption, while the Lynx gear gives positives. And the Rhino gear slows your attack speed, while the Lynx gear increases it. Plus, I learned about gear sets, and the Lynx gear has an amazing gear set, and the Rhino gear has a crappy gear set. Or a set bonus, rather. So, that's why I switched to Lynx. It's just better in every way. And I'm going to need a lot of core power to get all of that Lynx gear equipped. So, all the rest of my tech scrap is going to, to my core power. And a 15 core power gave me a new implant slot. I just hit 25. That gave me another one. Okay, so let's put that gear on. We've got the Lynx headgear. Its defense is 5, stability is low, core power consumption is 1, damage to armored parts is up 4%, while damage to unarmored parts is down 4%. And the bonus stats are elemental defense of 6, slash defense of 4, crush defense of 5, and thrust defense of 3. Lynx gear is 3rd generation Creo Exorig technology, customized to suit the evolving needs of our field technicians. Its lightweight construction and ease of use guarantees unparalleled flexibility. Micro-laminated alloy surfaces and modest core power requirements make for a versatile set of gear, suited to many challenging tasks of machinery enhancement. Next we have the arm gear, defense 8, stability low, core power 2, attack speed goes up 3%. Elemental defense 10, slash 7, crush 10, thrust 6. The leg gear is defense 8, stability low, core power 2, stamina consumption when running is down 20%, stamina consumption when dodging is down 10%. Uh, elemental defense 7, slash 6, crush 10, and thrust 8. For the body gear, we get defense of 9, stability is low, core power is 3, stamina consumption is down 10%. Elemental defense 9, 8 slash, 12 crush, and 8 thrust. And then another arm gear and another leg, and when you equip a full set of Lynx gear, you'll get the trophy Operator, but I've also got that one. Also, if we go to Specs, you can see uh, sort of all of my stats, and at the bottom right, you can see Gear Set Bonus. Wearing a full set of Lynx gear grants increased attack speed while at or near full health. That's pretty much going to have 100% uptime. I'm always at or near full health, and... Uh, the at is very, very loose. Um, you can be at like 70% health and you'll still be getting that bonus. So it seems like unless you're on the verge of dying, you're pretty much getting that gear set bonus. And it's a, it's a fantastic bonus. Having more attack speed is so, so good. 
Oh, and one thing to note about those gear set bonuses, you actually have to have the full set equipped in order to see the bonus. So, uh, if you're looking at a new, like, if you get a new type of item and you're thinking about making a set for it, I would just look online or maybe just make a save and then revert to it to see if the gear set is worth it. Because the gear set is something you should definitely take into consideration. So, uh, the rest of my core power is going to implants, and I've got a lot to work with because the Lynx gear doesn't require much core power. Um, so I want to update this Vital Boost 1 to a version 3. It's two more core power for just two more health. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be worth it until it scales higher. Uh, but right now, I've got core power to burn. I'll take a Medieval Take Injection. That'll turn my energy into healing for four core power. And then I want more energy gain, so I'll take a Voltaic Dynamo. Energy gain plus 20% for two core power. Oh, wrong button there. Cycle injectables. Press right on the D-pad to cycle through your currently equipped injectables. So we can cycle between the metavoltaic and the vital injections. But just be aware um, that when you kill enemies and they have a chance to refresh your injectables, um, it's only the injectable you have equipped. So if you got a metavoltaic injectable uh, equipped, it's not really going to do anything. Um, so you'll want to end every fight with your vital injection selected if it's not already at three stacks because otherwise you might miss out on a, a stack refresh that you really need. So just try to get into the habit of putting that active right after you kill anything. Alright, so let's check out this new attack speed and you'll see why the Lynx gear is so much better. So with this improved attack speed, I can easily get in and get out. I can dodge around. I don't really have to worry too much about my stamina consumption. And it lets me get out my combos faster so I can get in there and get more aggressive and rely on staggering my enemies. So it's just better all around. It's really... If you've been using the Rhino gear, switch to that Lynx gear and you'll see a massive difference and the game will be much more enjoyable. So that elevator is down. This exolift is currently out of order. Press triangle while facing an enemy to attack it with your drone. We're just going to go for his body. Get some body gear while I can. While my injectables are all maxed out and everything. Because body gear is a little bit more difficult to get just because it's got more defense on it. it. Takes a little bit longer to bust through it. Alright, uh, there's two security guards up here. If you kill both of them, you're going to get a trophy most wanted. Uh, but these guys are mean. They can one-shot you, they can stun you, they can counterattack you. They're nasty. Um, but we like trophies, so we're going to get it. Security HQ is a restricted area. Also, if you can get one of their weapons, and that guy has a vulnerable right arm, so I will try for him. Uh, you need it for a quest. So I will try to get that now, but mostly I just want to kill them and not die. And it's mostly just hit and run tactics when they uh, attack, get in there, get a hit in, and just keep them both in your sights, and keep strafing. You want to be constantly moving, because if they hit you, they can one-shot you. Just keep moving, keep moving. He's vulnerable. Oh, crap! You stunned me. I managed to get my vital injection out super quick and avoided that death. And trust me, it would have been a death. Alright, he's gone. So now I can focus on this guy. Once you're down to one, you're pretty much home free. Unless you make a huge mistake. Like letting them get that uppercut on you. That uppercut just... You're dead. If that uppercut hits you, you're just gone. Got no chance. But assuming you don't let them hit you with the uppercut, once you're down to one, unless you just run out of healing items, you're home free. And I got the weapon. Very nice. That's the MG Negotiator. It's a staff. Damage is 21. Impact is low. Attack speed medium. Proficiency scaling is medium. Energy gain plus 10%. It's got 12 elemental damage, 9 crush damage, and 6 thrust damage. 
The MG Negotiator is guaranteed to resolve disputes quickly and decisively. Originally supplied exclusively to Creo, its success has led it to become available to law enforcement and licensed security professionals everywhere. When you need a tool of exceptional versatility for crowd control and ultra-rapid conflict resolution, look no further than the MG Negotiator. Okay, and that's a security door over here, so we can't get through that. Some drone modules require energy to be used. Alright, this guy, let's go for his arm. I don't have that weapon. This I don't think I do. And it's making me a little nervous for some reason. So I'm just kind of being a little dodgier than normal. And there we go. Okay, and new weapon. This is the Indos RS3 Titan. It's heavy duty, damage is 33, impact is very high, attack speed low, proficiency scaling is very low, and energy gain is 80%. It's got 33 crush damage and 13 thrust damage. What's better than one tool? Two pro quality tools in one. The Indos RS3 Titan combines an industrial rivet gun with a high torque super industrial wrench, providing Creo employees with the perfect tool for rocket manifold maintenance. Due to the inherent danger, the rivet function is restricted to an internal database of approved workers. Contact your department manager today if you are interested in signing up for the requisite safety courses. Well, we got a dual wielder right there. Let's, let's focus on him and we'll go for his leg. Maybe we can actually uh, cut it before he dies. Although it doesn't look like I will. Nope, he's just gonna die. But while I've got the energy, I can go for the next guy and maybe... Oh, and we got a uh, tip here. Activating your drone when you are not locked onto an enemy will charge your current drone module. If you have enough energy. Activating a charged drone module marked with the electric symbol will not cost any energy. And you like how I read that while killing him? Wasn't sure I could pull that off. Uh, so anyways, um, you can basically pre-charge your drone modules if you've got extra energy. So uh, if you, you know, if you don't want your energy to go to waste, you can just pre-charge it and then you can use it later for zero energy at full charge. Right there, we can overcharge. That'll take 75 core power. And we just found some rig armatures and cortical processors Mark II. We've entered discarded safety equipment, and we're going to have a new enemy. This guy mostly attacks with his tail, and I'm just going to block and counterattack him, because it's I just find it most effective against him. And uh, the one thing you got to watch out for is when they jump back and then they lunge at you. You cannot block the lunge, and uh, if it hits you, it's going to take almost your full health bar. It's really nasty. So he's going to lunge, jump out of the way, and uh, it took me a while to get the dodging on that right. Uh, what you're looking for is for his legs to sort of spring. So he'll jump back, don't jump too early, or don't dodge too early. Wait for that like spring animation and then dodge. And he missed me. Alright, so watch spring and dodge. And trust me, it took me a lot of practice to get that down. It's, at least for me, it was not easy. So even though I might be making it look easy, it's just because I practiced a lot. You're probably going to get hit with that fairly often. And it hurts. Something you want to get good at dodging really quick. Luckily, he's hitting me with the tail, so that leaves him quite vulnerable. Oh! Barely got that block in. 
when they jump back, they they uh, swipe you with their tail. So you want to make sure you're blocking for that. Look out for that jump. He's going to do it again. And he's gone. So on the next one, I want to hit him once in the body. And then I'm going to go for his tail. Because if you break off the tail, you're going to get an implant. And the reason I'm hitting him once in the body is because once he's lost his tail, I lose most of his... most of my ability to counterattack him. So I want that tail there as long as possible, because once it's gone, then he's more difficult to kill. So there we go. Tail's broke, but he's pretty much dead. And luckily, he jumped right back into a wall so I could easily counter him. So we picked up an ancillary core. Oh, why am I looking here? It's an implant. Plus six core power. Increases core power. Creo Exo Rigs are designed for flexibility. They come factory equipped with enough implant slots to accommodate thousands of possible configurations. But sometimes you just need more power. Proper use of supervisor approved ancillary cores can enable employees to customize their rigs loadout to overcome even the most difficult challenges. So if you need more core power you can go with that although to be honest I don't see why you'd want to do that like you could just always get more tech scrap. So I don't really see the point but it's an option. And I just charged my drone module because I just had this energy sitting here. So I may as well charge it, right? So counterattack there. Another one. So far he's making this pretty easy for me. I like this. He might jump here. Oh, I got too aggressive. Medieval tick, jump out of the way, woo! Made it dangerous. You didn't like me talking crap about him. And I managed to not use a vital injection there too. I'm quite proud of myself. Kind of played it risky, but I didn't want to lose a injection. So far, this guy's being good to me. And he's dead. Alright, and over here we have a mechanized counterweight version 2. And that is a better implant than the uh, pre-order we got. So the pre-order is 0 core power, gives 5 to crush, slash, and thrust. This triples it, but it costs 2 core power. But way, way better. Basically, that pre-order item seems kind of worthless, but uh, the version 2 is very, very nice. Okay, let's go to the left first. Got a guy right here. I'm going to go for his arm. Chip away. Dodge out whenever he tries to hit me. Ah, oh, the attack speed and the stamina. I love it. This game was so miserable when I was playing with Rhino Gear. It's part of the reason this video took me so long to get out. I was just trying to make the Rhino Gear work. And it just doesn't. Please, come on, help me. Thanks, man. I thought I was stuck in here for good. Come on. Say something. You okay in there? I appreciate it, really. Thought I was gonna starve in here. Don't know how much longer I would have lasted. Who are you? So tell me, what's your story? Name's Davey, man. I work on the Shell production line. Ran in here when those freaks started showing up. Didn't realize for hours the door was busted and I was stuck. Don't even know how long I've been in here. What's going on here? You know what's going on around here? You mean all this crap? No idea, man. Way above my pay grade. Something hit the system hard, that's for sure. Melted my damn neural link. It was like I was tripping and 
in someone else's head. Thoughts, memories, just not my own. Some weird shit going down. That's that's all I know. What's your plan? So, what are you gonna do now? Dunno, man. Not staying out here, that's for damn sure. Maybe ops? Should be safe, right? Goodbye. So long. Later. Alright, so we, uh, rescued that guy. How much time has passed? Minutes? Hours? Days? This place is falling apart. I'm falling apart. I was told it wouldn't hurt. That the whole thing would be over in just a couple of minutes. But the pain went away. I was awake. It cut open my flesh. Pierced into my bones. I could still hear the machines. Feel them. And I screamed. Just screamed until there was no air left in my lungs. But it didn't stop. It didn't stop. Well, this guy hit me. I had to use my medieval tech. I'm just finishing him off there. And single rigged weapon proficiency is now level seven. Don't believe it. Hey, you! Over here! Please, my rig's out of juice. I'm a fucking statue here. Can't move a thing. Can you power it up and jumpstart me? Sure, we'll help you out. But well, we need to backtrack. Whoops, attacked a little early there. Need to get through here. Right here, we got an aggression amplifier. Just a jump start, man. Oh, damn, thank you. Been sitting here so long, my ass is numb. Can't count how many times I've had to play dead out here. Nearly pissed my pants a couple of times. I'm Hobbs, Dean Hobbs. No, no one calls me Dean, so you know, Hobbs is fine. What brought you here? What are you doing down here? Well, just being me. I mean, I'm maintenance. I sh should have left this stuff to security. But I thought, hey Hobbs, let's find out what's going on here. Stupid man, just stupid. Wanted to check the failsafe consoles. See what they recorded. Got separated from my crew, but I thought, Hobbs, don't give up now. You can make it. And that's when my rig gave out. You know what's going on? Guess you've got no idea what's going on around here. Shit, man. I don't know nothing. Felt like my brain was an egg on a griddle and then the yolk popped. <laughs> Woke up. Head ringing like crazy. Everything had just gone to hell. What I'd seen since then. Huh. Man, you wouldn't believe it. About the failsafe consoles. What's the deal with these failsafe consoles? Well, Creo's got a few around the factory to monitor problems and record them. There's sure to be some crazy stuff on them with all that's going down. And check them out if you want, but my adventuring days are done. What now? What's your plan? I'm gonna get my ass out of here before it gets mashed like a bug in a windshield. Think I'll head up to Ops. Should be all right there. Goodbye. So long, Hobbs. Stay safe, man. Stay safe. Failsafe terminal. Report of the last known failures detected in this area. Failsafe protocol active. Log mark 96 hours, 0 minutes, 0 seconds. Automatic system wide reboot begun. Data loss analysis. Most Creo systems damaged. 27% of data storage and processing systems report complete data and record loss, with low chance of recovery. Local non-networked power supplies remain operational. Recovery protocols activated. Damaged data sectors attempting temporary repair using analogous systems. Collateral loss of workforce is rated as extreme. Overall work output efficiency remains severely impaired, with all functioning personnel-related systems reporting significant neurological deviation and physical degradation. 
Functioning implants and rigs should be collected for refurbishment and redistribution to fully functioning human assets. Okay, let's keep exploring. Got this guy right here. Guess I'm going for his leg. Just kind of picked that for me, but I may as well. Although I think he's going to die before I get it. Yep, he's gone. Didn't drop anything, did he? Nope. Alright, and then over here we got some tungsten alloy. Because we picked up a weapon I already have. Up ahead we got a dude on a turret. And you can shoot him off by using your infra blaster. And I don't know, let's go for an arm I guess. Just chipping away. Okay. Got some tungsten alloy. Got another broken arm gear thing. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for a leg, I guess. Oh, crap. Got me with that. Well, screw the leg. We're gonna go for his head. And I'll heal with the medieval tech. We can get parts later. Heal up. Okay, well, I'm not quite at full health, but I'm kind of close enough. Uh, this guy, I guess we can go for the body. Maybe we could cut. Uh, maybe. Be close. Yep, I got it. Okay, we found some metal scrap. Drop down here. We got another guy on a turret. Uh, let's get a leg. We haven't got many leg pieces, if any. Yeah, what's he doing? Hey, dummy, get over here. Oh, crap. Oh, he got me good. I got a vital injection on that. Can't be screwing with that, and I'll just kill him. We'll use the medieval tech. I don't want to screw around and possibly, you know, die. Keep getting me with that uppercut attack. I'm having troubles dodging that at the moment for some reason. Alright, this guy over here, he's got a new set of gear we haven't seen yet. I don't know if I'll be able to get it though. I'm gonna go for a leg. See if I can cut that. Nah, I think he's just gonna take too much damage. Come on, buddy. Hurry it up. Energy's not gonna last forever. Ah, we're not gonna get it. Oh well. Still killed him. Let's see, this guy's coming for me, but he's got an exposed head. He'll be an easy kill. He's gone. Oh, God! That was not cool. Medieval tech. Tried it again. I was not ready for that. Hi. Right. Left that right there. Alright, you get out of here, sir. Switch back to the vital just in case. Charge my pre-charge my drone, that'll be good. Well crap, I'm down to one vital injection. Need to be a little careful. Uh we could overcharge there, but we would need 60 core power to do it. Oh, this guy's got that new gear as well. Let's go for a body. See if we can cut. Hey you. Come on. Attack me. Attack me! Alright, yes, you look very cool stalking me down, but you're not helping. Alright, come on, do it again. 
Oh, he's too far away. Oh, crap. Well, I think I've got enough energy to cut. Oh, well, not if I do that. Ah. Screw it. Let's use medieval tech. Not gonna risk it. Kinda screwed up there, got impatient. That's what this game will do to you. If you're not patient, you'll get yourself hit and uh, you can't really take too much health damage. Drone module acquired. Concussive module. Your drone accelerates to ramming speed and impacts the enemy with great force. This is a great module and you can switch between your modules by pressing up on the d-pad. Um, so this module, if you use it on a human, it normally knocks them to the ground. Um, and if you use it on a machine, it'll normally stun them, which is fantastic for a machine uh, we're going to be fighting very soon. We're going to have a lot of them. They're going to become a common enemy. And down there, I picked up a vital injection. Uh, I've already got that, obviously. That's how I've been healing. But uh, we could double my stacks if I wanted to. In fact, might even be able to triple it because I think I have two already. And then that door at the bottom was locked, so I didn't bother going in there because it was just told me to go away. Alright, so we want to go this way. We'll get this guy's head. And uh, I'll use the medieval tech. Use it right now. And actually... Oh, never mind. I thought I could cut him, but I forgot to use my energy for killing. Or for uh, healing. Uh, block with L1 and then use the right stick up or down to evade high or low attacks. So you can like duck under or jump over an attack. And then, at, uh, and then attack after a successful block or evasion to perform special counterattacks. Uh, so I haven't been able to do the counterattack with the evasions yet. I just not practiced enough at it. But I do the counterattack off the blocks all the time. So here's that new enemy I was talking about. This is the one the concussive module is fantastic for. Only his back leg is vulnerable, so I got a free hit there. That attack right there, he tries to suck you in if you get hit with it. He'll suck you into a counter, or uh, to a follow-up attack. Uh, he tried to stab me, and then he used a torch back and forth. When he uses the torch back and forth, he leaves himself vulnerable to sort of like slide around him. So like, I'll show you right here. Then my concussive module hit him, but for some reason it didn't stun him. I'll use it again. So he's stunned, I can get behind him, get a couple hits in. And it builds enough energy where I can just bring him out again and restart him. So that's why that module is just so good. Makes these guys way easier. And nice. I got another vital injection and I'll pre-charge my concussive module. And I got a pile of metal scrap. Alright, so another trophy you can get. There's a group of four enemies up here. And if you kill all four, you get the trophy Infidel. Killing all four at the same time would be very, very difficult. So screw that. I'm going to pull them one at a time with my drone. Also, these guys are rocking scarab gear. So if you're looking for schematics, this is a good place to get them. Stupid box got in my way. And that body gear takes a while to get through. Cut there, and I should have enough to heal too, because he clipped me. Yeah, not quite full health, but close enough. Scarab body gear schematic unlocked. We'll get this guy next. Uh, let's see, we'll go for a right arm. And the usual, just chipping away. Ah, 
There we go. That'll give me some tungsten. And the arm schematic. Okay, next we'll get the dual wielder guy. The claws. But uh, I doubt I'll be able to cut him. These guys just die too fast. They're too squishy. For my awesome single rigged counterattack. Okay, and finally this guy, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll get a leg. We don't have a helmet or a leg, he's got both, but helmet should be easier to get, so we'll get the leg now. Okay, and when the last one goes down, you will get your trophy, Infidel. And I want to come over here, jump on this crate, which can be a little difficult with his wonky jumping. There we go. And we get the comic Iron Mouse number 45. And right there, we got an Energized Power Cell version 1. Uh, core power consumption is 1, elemental damage is 10, energy consumption is 12. Applies an elemental damage boost to weapons. Emits a short-lived energy field that allows any tool to act as an industrial cutting torch. Particularly useful for employees of the salvage slash reclamation department. But needs regular recharging as its local battery depletes after only a few applications. So if you want some elemental damage, there's an option for you. Guided tour, our experts working hard in the Project Resolve chemical refinery to ensure the perfect mix to go with the rockets. Got an overcharged spot there, but that's 70. Visitors, please wait for security clearance before entering research and development. That's another security door. We can't get through that. Okay, we're going to go around this catwalk. There's an item right over there. It's a vital boost. Got a bunch of those now. I bet you I could like double my health if I wanted to. Although I don't really see why you would want to do that. You'd be sacrificing a lot for that health. Alright. We want a concussive module. And you know what? I may as well top my health off. Let's do that. Bust out concussive module again. Switch back to my vitals in case he's going to recharge my injectable for me. Goodbye. Do I get injectable? No injectable for me. But I can pre-charge my drone module. Found some force regulators and pneumatic helices. Mark II. This guy right here, I want to bring him over to me because there's another guy on the left and I would rather fight one at a time. Ooh, just barely got out of the range of that. Okay, I put him down. Let's work on this guy next. Uh, I guess we'll just go for a body can actually cut that. At least we should be able to. Oh, I'm just dodging right around you. You can't handle it. Oh, I should have cut. Oh, well. Oh, hi. Come to join the party, eh? I'm gonna go for your chest. Nope, oh, thought I could cut there. Not quite yet. Ah, oh, once again. Too much damage. Alright, we got a plasmic regenerator. That's healing over time. A pile of metal scrap. Okay, guys. 
This is Benberg, so listen up. I don't know if you made it out of recycling. I don't even know if you can hear me. But if you can, meet me at the outbound station. Stay safe, I'll be waiting. We can make it together. Okay, there's a video there, but it's about halfway through. I'll come back for that in a bit. Not again. Well, you can fuck right off. I swear I... Hey. You're actually normal. For a moment, I thought you were one of these psychos. Already ran into a dozen or so of them today. Guess I've always attracted the wrong type of guy. Don't be so hard on yourself. Well, I don't know what that says about me, because they've been chasing my ass around, too. <laughs> First time I've smiled in days. Thank you. I'm Irina, by the way. Trained engineer and, apparently, born survivor. What's going on here? Got any idea what's going on here? Yeah. This company finally managed to burn the final vestiges of humanity out of us. Guess we're the lucky ones, though. Didn't drop dead. Haven't blown a fuse. At least not yet. Looking for something? You're searching for something? <laughs> Look at Mr. Inquisitive. Just trying to find something that would help me stay alive a bit longer. A good staff. One that's not actually falling apart. On the off chance someone needs a good beating. Let me help. I'll see what I can do. Oh, look at you! The White Knight! I could get it myself, you know. But as long as you're offering. What are you going to do? So what's with the staff and everything? I could ask you the same question. I guess sitting things out is just not our way. I never liked those smelter bots. Always kept an eye on them, even before this shit went down. It's time to push that damn emergency stop and scrap them for good. Think I have what you need. What if I told you I have what you need? Usually saying that is a prelude to disappointment, but hey, I'm game. So, let's see what you've got. The MG negotiator that I got off the security guards. Well, this one comes with best regards from Creo's security. Hmm. <laughs> A striking argument in each negotiation. Boy, oh boy, you make me happy. I owe you. It's nice to know chivalry isn't dead. Goodbye. Better get going now. And just as I was getting to know you. Okay, let's check in on that video. Giving her that staff does something for you up ahead. I'll show you. That video is still about halfway. So if you didn't get the staff uh, earlier, you can come down here. There's two more security guards. And I'm gonna kill them. Why not? They're good tech scrap. So, let's see. His left arm's exposed. That's an option. Leg too, but I don't like going for legs. Please proceed, worker. Oh, jeez. He's fully armored. Oh, this is gonna be a lot tougher than I thought. Uh, well, we'll go for this guy first, because he's got the arm. And I'll bring him over with the drone. The mag left service on this line, worker. He left himself vulnerable there. I can get some good damage in. Oh, he stunned me, though. Vital injection. Keep it moving. Keep strafing. Alright, hit and run tactics. It's the only way to do it. And there we go. Broke off his arm. Alright, so this guy's gonna be much tougher. Ah, heal. Get out of there. That stupid stun. You, like, can't dodge it. It's just you have to be strafing beforehand. It's really the only way. So anyways, I'm gonna go for this guy's head. And it's, I'm really gonna have to hit and run with him. It's gonna take a while to get it. In fact, I don't even think the head is the right choice here, but oh well. Yeah, because it keeps hitting his body, but I guess we'll get a body part, potentially. Well, if we're going to go for body, we may as well go for body, right? And I can cut the body and get that schematic. But as long as I keep moving, he can't really do too much to me. He'll keep doing his useless attacks. The thing I really got to watch out for, though, is that uppercut. That's the only thing I got to be worried about. 
The stun too, obviously, but the stun won't kill me. Because he never follows up with the uppercut after the stun. It's always the jab. But that uppercut. That right there. Get hit with that, you're done. Okay, I should almost have him. There we go, cut. Nice. And my weapon proficiency has gone up to level 8. I got the schematic for the MG Gorgon body gear. And I picked up another MG Negotiator. Okay, uh, how's that video coming along? Enjoy two week vacation in less than an hour with DTS. Well, it's almost over. I guess I'll just wait. Whatever you want to do is just a click away. With so much to offer, why would you ever leave? Creo's not just a company, it's a way of life. Here you're not just seen as anybody, you're somebody, somebody special. At Creo, we have your well being at heart, and that includes body and mind. Creo's more than just a job. Here, you're family. Here, you're home. But you want more, right? Why pay for expensive gym and spa memberships when Creo has state of the art facilities right here? And as for vacations, what if I told you you can have one every week? That's right. With Creo's Dream Tour Systems, or DTS, you can go anywhere in the world and even beyond. DTS feeds directly into your neural interface, and voila! You're on a beach in Rio, or Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Something more cultural? How about a stroll along the scene in beautiful Paris? Or what about enjoying the Colosseum during the height of the Roman Empire? That's right. DTS can fulfill all your desire. Enjoy two week vacation in less than an hour with DTS. Wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do is just a click away. With so much to offer, why would you ever leave? Well, he got creepy on that video. Let's see, we got a guided tour. Dear visitor, say hello to Don Hackett, our famous director of PR. Visitors assemble here for the guided tour to research and development. Okay, let's go this way. We got a dude right there. Hopefully he'll sprint at me and I can just counter him. Need to be careful on this bridge. There's no railing on the right. It's just something to be aware of. Yeah, this door right here has to be open from the other side. So much for help coming. It's been over a day now and nothing. She's not responding when I call. It's getting worse out there and the noises are freaking me out. I can hear them, but at least there hasn't been any more screaming. So well, that's a blessing. But there's other sounds. I did see one guy. He was in a terrible state, but he seemed to know what he was doing. Heading to the executive forum. Feels more than Maybe just I should have gone like she suggested. Here, your family. Here. Okay, so right here, this bridge is pretty nasty. I want to bring over this robot to me. And take him out back here. I don't go too far because he can't come all the way back here, but about right there is a good spot. Oh, and I don't have the back leg selected. Oh, crap. He's doing the fire. I'll back up over here. Go fire again. And there we go. 
All right, so up ahead, we've got a gunner on the left, a gunner on the right, and you got that uh, dual wielder guy. Might actually be able to pull him over, but I'll just run through and get him on the backside. Um, I'm pretty much going to take at least a shot or two. It pretty much always happens, um, but it's not too big of a deal. Just watch out. There's a hole in the bridge on the left and the right. So be aware of that. Oh, I jumped right over one of them. All right, there we go. And we'll just get him back here. Those other guys won't follow. They like the turrets too much. And that's actually enough to heal, so I'll do it. Switch back to the vital, see if I get a stack. But I didn't. Okay, this guy's turn, and he's got an exposed head, so he'll be an easy kill. Oh, and down the hole. What a shot. And this guy... No exposed head. Ah, crap. That was terrible. Uh, well, I'll just switch to the medieval tech and we'll go for the kill. And I'll heal. Well, actually, I don't need to heal. Switch to vital. Well, I guess we'll heal anyway. I was gonna say I don't need to heal. I could have just gone for a cut, but eh. Better to be a full health, I guess. Oh, that sucks. I don't think I can get that. Oh. I got it. Nice. And I picked up another Voltaic Dynamo. Okay, and then over here, there's another item. Some small pile of high-tech scrap. So we got this guy, exposed head. You know the drill. Some tungsten alloy and a message. So Ferguson dumps us, then it's all, buddy, buddy, come to my party. Fuck him. Listen to this shit. Hi, pals. As you may know, next week is my birthday. Who does he think he is after what he pulled? There'll be tons of cakes, so bring your hunger to break Area 12. <laughs> Hope he chokes on it. First the drones, then John, and now the salaries. He's got a screw loose if he thinks we'll forget what we One of these days, I'm going to grab my tools and tighten it for him. All right, we got this dude right here. And we're definitely going to go for this cut. I actually, surprisingly, don't have that many helmets, I don't think. I should start collecting. That might be the first one. That is the first one. Okay, we can open up this door in case we need more space to operate. Although we shouldn't. It's just one of these robots right here. They're not too big of a deal. That stun, we're getting another stun. Ah, oh, a little slow on that attack. Watch out for the fire. And there we go. Still no vital injection. Let's charge my drone modules. Tactile Omni Boost version 1. Take a look at this thing. Its core power consumption is three. One-handed staff and heavy-duty proficiency is going up by two. Increases weapon proficiency with one-handed weapons, staves, and heavy-duty heavy duty weapons. A deceptively complex piece of technology, the tactile omniboost increases the sensitivity and response speed of manual movements by increasing electrical activity in the cerebellum. In the case of tremors, dizziness, or loss of equilibrium, discontinue use immediately and file a bug report with the employee satisfaction department. So that could actually be a really good implant. Weapon proficiency seems to raise damage by a pretty decent amount. So uh, that could be a really, really good implant. Got one of these guys from the first area. 
They are all too easy now, though. Alright, so up ahead we've got a smelter. There actually is normally two smelters, but because we gave that arena person that staff, she somehow killed one of them. And you can see that item there, that's the shining coin it drops when it dies. And the other one will drop a shining coin as well, just like the very first one did. Sneak up on this guy. He's doing his fire, that's not gonna be an issue back here. There's the stun. Ah, a little slow. Where's that awesome attack speed? Slow feel. Oh, why am I not stunning him? I have no idea. I have no explanation for this, but there we go. And I got a vital injection back, that's good. Precharge my drone module. And alright, so I could jump to that smelter, but I'm gonna take a different path. Okay, and we've got this guy right here. Let's shoot him. I'm just gonna go for his head. He's gonna die too fast to cut. No point in even trying. I can't precharge my drone module. This has been again. I'm still waiting at the outbound station. I want to try and get to the old bio labs. I'm hoping it's safer there. But I'm not leaving without you. I know recycling and the waste storage are a mess, but get through there and it will get better. Well, I didn't mean to use my concussive module there. I had the wrong one selected, so kind of wasted that, but that's all right. I got a cut. Nice. I think that's Scarab gear. Yeah, that's some Scarab gear. Take that. I still need a helmet. But I'm not gonna get it. He's gonna die too quick. But I would like a helmet. Oh, I could have cut there. I didn't know. Oh, well. Station control, use this terminal to alter the workspace of the recycling unit. Um, I think that actually does something if there's two of them down there, but I've tried it with one, it doesn't seem to do anything, so no point in pressing it. Unless you got two down there, then maybe. You can see there's a door down there, and this console controls it. We're gonna open that up. Use this terminal to control the bridge state. Warning, canal bridges extending in recycling. Canal bridges extended. So now there's no gap to the uh, smelter. You can just walk right across the bridge. With the implemented overtime hours, my guys have been relying on their implants, but I'm noticing increasingly erratic behavior from them. This schedule was meant to be temporary, but it's been months now with no sign of respite. Now, I don't blame my team for using, but... The side effects are becoming increasingly apparent. There's even been fights. And, you know, some people are just acting downright weird. And we're going to have big problems soon if something isn't done. And I, I won't be held responsible. Alright, so over here we have something amazing. It's a first aid station. Use the first aid station to refresh health and implant uses. It says use the med station to refill your injectables. So, uh, I'm going to save this for before the boss. So if I need um, to top off my health or injectables before the boss, I'll come back here and use it, but I don't need it right now. Because I just want to ensure that I get to that boss with the best chance to beat it.
Uh, the elevators do this sometimes. They like, don't register I got on. There we go. Okay, we got another robot. I would have liked to have used my concussive module on him, but I wasted it on the dude upstairs. Ah, and he turned around. Sneak behind him? Not quite. How about this way? There we go, that'll work. Some good hits in there. And finished him. Precharge my drone modules. Alright, so now for that smelter. Now you need to be careful on these guys. Sometimes they are ridiculously mean. Um, and other times they're pushovers, so I, I don't know what version I'm gonna get. But I'm gonna sneak up as best I can. And being close to them seems to be the best way to handle it. So here we go, I'm gonna hit him. Alright, so he's only got one vulnerable spot, really. So you want to get right here and have that crane as far away as possible when you do. And then just, you know, kind of spin around, get that crane back where it's safe as far away as you can, so then you can beat up the weak spot. Which is right here. Dodge out, and finish him up. And that got me my uh, vital injection back to three. Alright, so there's the shining coin. Each one of these is going to drop one of those. And this one was technically killed, so there's a shining coin. Then over here we got a kinesthetic amplifier. What is that? Core power consumption is 3. Single rigged and twin rigged proficiency goes up by 2. Increases weapon proficiency with single rigged and twin rigged weapons. Developed as a result of Creo's research into prosthetics, this implant reverse engineers the phantom limb phenomena suffered by many amputees. Using the kinesthetic amplifier in conjunction with rigged tools makes them feel like they are part of the body. Harnessing the brain's natural proprioceptive reflexes to greatly increase precision and shorten learning curves. So that could be one I'm definitely going to be using. Because um, weapon proficiency seems pretty good and uh, three core power I should be able to spare that. So probably going to be using it. Uh, that guy ran back to a turret. He can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, I want to shoot him off and get him over here. Sometimes he'll come pretty easily other times he'll be very stubborn and this is gonna be one of the stubborn times and he did some good damage to me there I don't like that well let's try it again once I get him over here I'll use my vital injection because he might shoot me again that's exactly what he's gonna try to do yeah I don't know why he's so stubborn sometimes and once again he's not gonna come let me try the concussive module on him just throw him right off of it Oh, well, straight up didn't work. The reason I'm not charging him is because there's a robot right around the corner and fighting both the robot and him at the same time. It's not really a good time. I don't really recommend it. But yeah, he's usually not this stubborn. I can usually get him to come. Yeah, he's just not doing it. I wonder if there's like a sweet spot for some reason. Maybe if I could just go like right here. Nope, he just doesn't care. Ah, crap. How am I going to deal with this guy? Maybe just get closer. I don't know. Right here? Nope, that's not going to do it. And I need to heal. Ah. Alright, screw it. We're going to... We're going to run past him behind that... Whatever that is. I don't know what it is. Whatever that is, we're going to run behind it. Over here. And then I'm gonna kill him and use my medieval tech. 
And come on, do something. There we go, Medieval Take back to full, switch back to my Vital Injections. Switch to my Concussive Module and work on this guy. Who seems to be stuck. Are you stuck? Shoot him, see if that does anything. There we go, that got him unstuck. Fire, get away from that. Another fire, get away, I used another concussive. Ah, he got me with the slow field. But I got him with the stun. And he's done. Why won't you believe me? You've seen the bodies, but I've seen him doing it. Why'd I make this up? Others have seen him too. It's just one guy. It's always the same. Bodies dismembered, missing limbs. God knows what he's doing with them. You know, I, I know this Liberator story happened decades ago, but what if he's back? What if it's not just urban legend? What if he's real? What if this whole mess is because of him? Okay, over here, we have a new weapon, the Bloodhound. It's a heavy-duty weapon, damage is 31, impact very high, attack speed is low, proficiency scaling is medium, energy gain is 65%. Slash damage is 18, crush is 13, thrust is 29. An articulated servo leg of one of Creo Security's robotic tracker units. Its pneumatic helices are of a much greater density than those used in employee gear, generating a level of force that would cause complete auto amputation if used by humans. Its great weight allows it to deliver heavy blunt force trauma wherever it strikes land. Jeez, auto amputation, that sounds horrific. Okay, we've got this dude over here, and there's a dual wielder nearby as well. But we should be able to take this guy out quick. He's got no helmet. There we go, and then we can use the energy I just gained from him to take something from this guy. Which uh, looks like body armor is like the only good choice. Oh, no! Well, screw that. We'll just use it to heal. And we'll just go for his head. So much for getting gear. Hey, attack me already. There you go. Okay, this leads out to an area we've been before. Might look familiar to you. And then we're gonna follow this catwalk around. And then we're going to drop down onto that shelf to get that item. And that's a Reclamation Buddy version 1. Core power consumption is 2. Tech scrap gain goes up by 10%. Increases the amount of tech scrap gain by killing enemies. Standard issue for employees of the salvage slash reclamation. Recycling usable raw materials is essential to general operations at Creo. From assembling new gear to improving your rig. So make sure to keep your reclamation buddy close at hand. So more tech scrap gain is probably going to be a really good thing to add to my uh, implants. So I'll probably do that, but I've got so many good ones I'm picking up, it's getting hard to pick. Alright, uh, we'll just get this guy's head. Let him charge me again. Ooh, that was a nasty one. Finish. Oh. Got greedy, got hit. Story of my life. Well, story of the game, at least. Okay, so in this room, we got a guy right there. We'll get his attention. Well, he saw me first. Got 
Come on, attack already. All right, and then there's another one behind these boxes. I want to get him quickly, get some energy, and use it to heal. It's being slow, though. I don't know if it's going to be quick enough. Just enough. There we go. Switch back to vital just in time to get my stack refreshed. Perfect timing. Okay, I want to come back over here, drop over here, drop into this hole. And then over here, we're going to have another dual wielder. And usually that's... Oh, it is open. I see. Uh, that doesn't really lead to anything. We can open up that door to get back into this room. And we found an Endurance Enhancer version 1. Let's see, where is it? Right there. Core power consumption is 1. Stamina plus 10, but it ranges from 5 to 15. Increases maximum stamina, scales with core power. The fight to save the Earth requires unflagging effort from all of Creo's valued employees. This minimally invasive implant channels power into the major skeletal muscle groups, reducing lactic acid buildup and increasing cell oxygen uptake, making midshift fatigue a thing of the past. So more stamina could be good, although to be honest with this gear, hasn't really been an issue. I almost never find myself out of stamina or wanting stamina, so... I'm not sure if I'll actually put it to use. I found a vanadium e cell. We got this guy up here, who surprisingly has zero armor at all. That's gonna be a very easy kill. We'll charge a drone module. That wanna work. And over here, we can overcharge. Somebody's talking to me. I've never found this person. I think they're just trying to lure me into these people. So anyways, these guys are wearing new armor. And I want schematics. So I'm going to go for the chest. Uh, you need to be very patient with them. They, uh, they take a while to whittle down. That armor is tough. And uh, be very careful of their thrust attacks because the weapon they're using has incredible thrust damage. So if you get hit with a thrust attack, you know it. It hurts. Oh, also, don't step in the goo that's nearby. It'll do a little bit of damage to you. And in some areas, you'll be kind of forced to fight around it, which makes it difficult. Going for that poke. Can't let him have that. Alright, so he's down. We're going to get that body gear schematic. Oh, hi. Uh, I guess we're going for a right arm. Ah, I got hit. Medieval take heal. I could probably get enough to heal and then still get enough to cut with how long these guys take the whittle down. Yeah, so we'll just heal with the medieval tech and then <laughs> keep... Pushing away for the uh, for the cut. Oh, it is going to be close, but I think I'll get enough. Yep. All right, and that gives us that new weapon. It's the Clinge Power Grip. It's single rigged. Its damage is 38. Impact is high. Attack speed is low. Proficiency scaling is very low. Energy gain is plus 70%. Slash damage is 12. Crush damage is 26. And look at that thrust damage. 35. Jeez. Klinge's premier product, the Power Grip, is actually a cunning multi-tool. Not only does it possess remarkable crush strength with fully customizable dimensional tolerances, Creo employees can also use it to cut, 
reshape, and pry open reinforced metallic surfaces. Its internal hydraulics use high-density eutectic fluids, which increase the tool's weight, but grant it remarkable pressure tolerances. So yeah, that thrust damage is not to be trifled with. And my proficiency with the single rig is now level 9. Oh, see, I stuck my toe in that. Did a little bit of damage. Nothing too serious, but it's never good to take damage. And I'm going to go for this guy's leg. I can't seem to target his right leg. There we go. Don't get poked. Just do what you can. Chip away. Uh, I guess I may as well heal. I'd like to be as close to max as possible. Oh, I should have plenty of energy for the cut, which it looks like I do. There we go. Got the leg gear. Uh, let's see. This guy, we're going to go for his head. That should go much quicker. for pokes, but it's not going to work. And cut that head. Okay, switch to my concussive module, which is ready to go. Sneak up and get a hit here, I hope. Yes, we will. And now we'll stun. Another stun coming. And easy. And uh, at some point there, I got over 50,000 tech scrap. If you manage to pull that off, you're going to get the trophy nothing to lose. So if you're a hoarder, you'll get another trophy. And just having more tech scrap on you increases how much tech scrap you gain. So if you uh, live dangerously, you can get rewarded for it. Charge that module. Okay, and we've got a two-hander guy. Oh, what's he doing up there? Well, he's dead now. A robot in there. While I'm fighting him, I'll listen to this audio log. I think I passed out from the pain. Don't know how long I've been lying there, cold on the concrete floor, half dead, awakening to a nightmare. I couldn't remember where I was, who I was. When I saw those people, what happened to them? Somehow I made it to us. My memories are blurry and hazy. I remember the pain. I've never been so afraid in my whole life. Didn't even realize I was totally blind in my left eye until Medbay patched me up. I guess I'm better now. Even my sight is coming back slowly. Oh, he won't get out of this freaking doorway. I can't get him back there. Ah, well, I guess I'll stun him again. I don't know what else to do. He's gotten himself, like, stuck. There we go. I think he... Yeah, okay. He's finally getting out. Okay, over here we got the mechanized counterweight version 1. So worse than the one we got earlier. But one less core power. So it's plus 10 to the uh, crush slash and thrust damage. Rather than 15. So get his attention with the drone. Somehow he missed me there. So no counterattack. OK, 
Okay, both my drum modules are uh, pre-charged uh, or whatever. Got some tungsten alloy there. D, will you check in? I waited 30 minutes for you yesterday. That's far too long for me to be out and about. I need those items. But if you can't procure them, I have other sources, so don't worry. Just let me know you're okay. All right, this guy right here, I would like to get him away from the goop. This is kind of in like a whole sea of goop. And the goop doesn't hurt them, of course. Because that would be convenient. I could just knock them into the goop, but nope. They are goop -immu immune. Okay, and we got that liquidator schematic. Actually, we already had it. I thought that was the first time I got it. Anyways, taking this exo lift up. We found some blue X cables. We got two of those now. Okay, we can overcharge right here. That's gonna get that elevator next to me up and running. And that elevator pretty much goes directly back to ops. So if you need to make an ops run, that's the elevator that was broken down like pretty much at the start. We finally got it up and running. We got this guy right here. He's got an exposed head. And this hallway kind of sucks. It's all gooped up. Ideally, you don't fight in the hallway if you can help it. It's kind of hard to get them out of it, though. This first guy is not bad, but the other one roams in, like, the center. And he can be a bit of a pain to, to get him out. But it's in your best interest to do it if you can. Which is what I'm going to try to do. Just stay out of the goop. I don't want to fight him in here. So let's let him get a little bit closer. Yeah, let's get his attention. Maybe he'll, like, run over here. Oh, I used the concussive module. Dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I'm going to use the other one. Hey, get back here. Well, we'll just keep shooting him. This will get his attention. Nah, I don't know if he's gonna come. Alright, well. He should come to here. You would think. How many times do I have to shoot you? Come on. Get over here already. Did I just break him? I think I just broke the crap out of him. Alright, let's see if we can drag him out. I got goop hitting me. Alright, so we're clearly gonna use my medieval tech. Oh, he's running away. This is not how this is supposed to go down. Alright, you. Get over here already. Ah, oh, and I'm getting myself hit. You know what, I'm just gonna use a vital injection. I don't want to risk him, like, actually managing to kill me. Because that would be horrible. Okay, so we gotta get him over here, though. Alright, there we go. He's dead. Is he worth a vital injection, at least? Would appear not. Alright, so let's get through the goop. And there's one guy left. This guy right here, and he's got an exposed head. I'll use my uh, medieval tech on him. And then hopefully when he dies, he'll be good for a vital injection, but I'm not sure. Haven't gotten one in a while, though. He might be. He might be good for it. Medieval tech, switch to vital, finish him, and... Nope, not gonna do it. So we are pretty much ready for the boss now. I'm not giving up on you. I won't hear it said that Benjamin Burke let down his team. 
I've marked the way to the outbound station. There's big red letters saying exit. Even you can't miss a smithy. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, oh, I left something here. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm just heading back to that first aid station from earlier. That'll get me back to full health and full injectables, and then I'll be ready for the boss. So, let's see. It's through here. Through here. And up the elevator. Okay, injectables are all set. I just gotta get back, and when I get to the goo area, I'll be careful so I don't take just a sliver of health from putting my toe in some goo. But there's no goo for a little bit, so we can run. I can run for quite a while because of my buff. Or my set bonus. Well, not my set bonus, from just uh, the stamina reductions on my uh, gear. Okay, so it should be goo here, and there is. Alright, so before we do the boss, there's one more item to get. And it's back behind this crate. It's another endurance enhancer. Alright, uh, I believe we're all set here. Got my medieval tick ready, got my vital injections. Full health, full injectables. Yep, let's do it. Detected. Lockdown. All right, so this guy you always need somewhere you can retreat, and you're going for legs. So let him attack you with a leg. Oh well, one to attack me with this leg. Now I just slide in, I hit it. I'll get back. He'll do a spin from time to time. Just make sure you have a retreat point, and try to hit the same leg. See how it's like got lightning on it? It's a little damaged already. I have a retreat point. And then hit that leg, and then once it's vulnerable, break this. And we got a leg down. So, two more legs to go, and we'll get him to a second phase. He's got to spin. Slide in. I mostly just use the slide attack on this entire boss fight. It's super effective for this one. So I really like it. Watch out for that spin. Yeah. Another leg down. So one more and then we're on the second phase. Watch out for whatever that nonsense is. Spinning. Leg again. Watch out for the spin. Okay, break the leg. And we're at the second phase. Watch out for this. And if you want to kill him hardcore style, you need to break all three of the remaining legs. And if you do that, you get a special weapon. I'm going to go in. And it's mostly just slide in and slide out tactics. Don't get crushed. And it's mostly just this. This is my strategy, at least. Watch out for that. That hits you, you get one shot. Okay, he's doing that again. We got two more legs to get. So we got that one targeted. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, don't know why that didn't work. 
Watch out for uh, his fire. That can be nasty. Got a good hit there. Watch out. He's flying in, I think. Yeah, watch out. Okay, I think we've only got one leg left. Now, the back one is super hard to target. So just be aware of that. It's a huge pain. But I actually got it targeted there. So I'm going to go for it. I took a hit, but that's okay. There we go. He left himself vulnerable. Ah, but he's gone. Okay, I actually ran out of stamina. So that was a little scary. Get that leg. Ran out of stamina, but we're getting it back. Watch out for that nonsense. He's gonna zoom in. Oh, never mind. He's doing that. Had the wrong animation. Crap. I'm stuck, but it's okay. I managed to get out of there. Alright, so I broke his final leg, and now it's just the core. So it's pretty much just slide in, hit, get out, don't get hit by flames. Let the flames kind of die down. He might zoom in here. Oh, no, he didn't. Alright, so go in. He'll crush. Ow, he crushed me. Yeah, so just stick with it. Watch out for that crush. It can kill you. Alright, he's being stubborn now. Alright, here we go. No. Nope. Oof. Alright, well, I've almost got him. Go right here. He's gonna crush and finish. Alright, and I got the Firebug Throttle version 2.0. Ow! Alright, he's down. We did it. Let's check out. Oh, and I got the trophy Firebug. And I should get another trophy. Overconfident, and that's for destroying a boss with 20,000 tech scrap or more. I got way more than that. I'm packing a ton. Okay, so let's look at that weapon I got. It looks really cool. It's a uh, twin rigged. It's the Firebug Throttle 2.0. And like I said, I got that because I killed him in hardcore mode, which was for taking out all his legs. Uh, if you take out, if you don't take out all the legs and you kill him, you'll get the version one. But this is better. Uh, its damage is 24, which is a little surprising. It's really low. Impact is low. Attack speed is high. Proficiency scaling is high. Energy gain is 5%. Uh, elemental damage is 9, crush damage is 15, thrust damage is 14. Why is this so bad? This is really surprising. I thought it would be amazing. Anyways, it says, uh, the still functioning throttle engines of the, U of the LU-74 unit Firebug, so named due to its unusually large exhaust flames, despite the best efforts of the Creo engineers leading LU-74's construction, they were never able to pinpoint a precise cause for the larger than normal flames. An explanatory note was entered into LU-74's service record, but LU-74 was neither the first nor the last Creo machine to develop idiosyncratic faults of unknown provenance. So, yeah, I'm still confused why that's so bad. We'll have to play with it, though. I need to get my proficiency up to five in each weapon anyway for a trophy. So I may as well uh, test out the best types, the ones we get from the uh, bosses. Extra lift is on its way, please be patient. I don't know how to be patient. Alright, and there's an item around here. Uh, let's see. I think it's back here. I want to be careful, I want to... I think there was like some drop-off points. Oh wait. Okay, here's that item. So I'm gonna follow this over here. Rare material scrap. Okay, we got a door over there. I think that actually leads to a place I've been. Uh, yeah. So that leads back to an area we were before. So that means I need to go this way. We're taking this exo lift down.
This right here is some sort of weapon. A Seru HSS Biomaster. And I think you can actually give this to Arena as well, but I never tried it. Because um, it is a staff and it's a fancy staff. Uh, damage is 21, impact is medium, attack speed is medium, proficiency scaling is low, energy gain is 25%. It's got 14 elemental damage, 7 slash damage, and 6 thrust damage. The Seru SSS or HSS Biomaster is a controlled incineration tool finding occasional use in the research greenhouses of Project Resolve. Creo denies the unfounding rumors linking exposure to Resolve's chemical payloads with greenhouse plant mutations and de degenerative conditions. So the proper protocol when such mutations occur is to immediately remove the affected specimens and dispose of, the, dispose of them via incineration. So a fancy staff we might play with at some point. We finally found our little thief. It's probably the same culprit who's been hitting the lab storerooms. She ended up dropping a purloined biomaster in a hurry to get away. Looks like she was heading towards the old abandoned labs. I'll file a full report when I get back. Security can handle this one from here on out. Okay, and then another exolift. Okay, and we've entered uh, a large area here. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry, but I just can't wait any longer. I hope you're okay, that you're still out there. That you found a safe place. I'm going to take the maglev to the old bio labs now. Try to get there if you can. I'll be waiting. Okay, so this was uh, another spot we were at previously. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to... Oh, I see. This is right near the, uh, the boss entrance. And then I think the outbound station is that way. So what is this way again? I don't recall. It's a circulation tower. Uh, but it doesn't look like you can get in. Okay, so uh, outbound stations are only option. Now let's take it slow. I don't remember what's over here. It wants me to look at something. Oh, the map. Alright, well there's a map. heard me say it again and again, but Creo cares. Let's be honest, over the last couple of decades, things haven't been too great. We know, we've seen the figures, and that's why we created Project Resolve. But with an ailing population, developmental problems, disability rising, and an alarming rate in children, some would have you believe it's too late. At least that's what elements in the media would have you believe. But Creo has you covered. From family daycare centers, to full medical coverage. Your family is our family. The average workplace can be littered with hazards, but at Creo, we're proud to say we never had more than a stealth With the implementation of our rigs, we've made you stronger, faster, tougher. The rigors of the workplace won't even give you pause. And due to the integration of your neural interface into Creo's core system, our professional healthcare staff can monitor your well-being 24-7. If that doesn't make you sleep tight, I don't know what will. Well, you're not looking at me would help. Creepy stare he's got. He developed that in the last video. I know, I know. All right, and then uh, over here we've got a final item. Pile of metal scrap. So I haven't been uh, using these consumables. Let's see uh, what it. Oh, wrong button there. Let's see uh, what these are gonna get me up to tech scrap wise. It's gonna be a lot. So we'll break all the. Oh wow, those are worth fifteen hundred. Yeah, this is gonna be a ton. Looks like I'm gonna have about eighty-five thousand. 
Yep, 85,873 tech scraps. The next operation I hit, I'm gonna get my core power and all sorts of stuff crafted, and it's gonna be awesome. Alright, so we are done in Central Production B. Let's take the Creo Maglev to uh, the next place. Next stop, Resolve Biolabs, Blue Sky Station. Alright, so we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.